Hi, I'm Terry Hunter, a registered nurse here at Carolina Conceptions, and I will provide you with an overview of the IVF process here at Carolina Conceptions. Prior to your class, you should have met with the physician to discuss in vitro fertilization, and you should have also met with the financial department to discuss your um, insurance benefits and costs. It is helpful to go to our website um, and to review the um, IVF material. If you go to, like I said, our website, go to IVF, click on the uh, registered patient tab, um, and then enter the doctor's last name and enter the word pregnancy in the password. There you'll be able to um, click on IVF consents and you can review the material that you would be signing on the day of the class. If you have insurance coverage for your medication, call your insurance company to find out what medication they prefer, what fertility med they prefer, and also maybe what fertility pharmacy they recommend as well. That's helpful information so that um, you can then go to our website again and review the injectable um, medication instructions and kind of have a, a just kind of review that so at the time of class you'll be better prepared for um, you'll be better prepared for the instruction of medication administration and dosing. Most IVF patients will be prescribed a birth control pill that they will begin on cycle day three of their menses. If you haven't received a prescription or you have not started the birth control pill, we can um, get the prescription for you at the time of class. Um, we recommend at least two weeks of birth control pills prior to starting the IVF. Then we will have you stop the pill and then we will instruct you on when to start your stimulation. That process will take about three weeks. So between the birth control pill for two weeks and the IVF process for three, you're looking at a total of about five weeks for the IVF process. We will also require that you have a saline sonogram and, or an HSG and a mock transfer. If you haven't had those within the past six months, we will then schedule you um, for those procedures at the time of class. We will need a recent semen analysis um, within the past year. We will, um, if you haven't had that, then we can also make that appointment at the time of class. Infectious disease labs are also required for both partners and we will um, we prefer that you have those done prior to the class, but if you haven't, we will have lab requisitions for you and you can get them completed at the time of class. We also test for cystic fibrosis, and that's usually done through blood work or through um, counsel, which is a saliva test. We recommend that you arrive to your class 15 minutes early. Prior to coming to the nurses, you will meet with financial to arrange payment and um, insurance authorization. First thing the nurse is going to do at the class is to review your prerequisites. That would be the saline, uh, sonogram, the mock, the semen analysis, and the labs, and um, be sure that you have had those completed. And if you haven't, we're going to schedule those appointments. Then we're going to go over the IVF calendar. We're going to um, plug in the dates that work best for you um, for the IVF process. We will instruct you on how to dose and administer your medication. Again, you can always go to our website to review that information outside of class as well. In most cases, you will begin your injectable medicines on a Saturday and then you'll return uh, to us for monitoring on a Wednesday. You're going to have approximately four ultrasounds with blood work during the IVF process. After injecting for approximately eight to 12 days, uh, we will then, and once your ovaries are ready, we will then have your egg retrieval. After the egg retrieval, um, three to five days later, you will have your embryo transfer. The uh, embryo transfer pending day three or day five will be dependent upon your embryos, the quality and the number of embryos that we have. We will order your medications and the pharmacy will contact you for your insurance um, information and they will also want to know when and where to ship the medication. If you have coverage for the fertility medications, it may require prior authorizations. 
that may take a few days to a week in order for you to get your medications. So we just want to make sure we plan that um, accordingly for your IVF. Lastly, we're going to have you sign the IVF consents. Um, the class time is approximately 45 minutes and then you can follow up with any questions that you have after that. You take care. We look forward to seeing you in our IVF nurse education class.